You're watching Shooting USA, news and information for America's gun owners. So, you've been shooting competition in the production division, but you'd like to move up to limited with higher capacity mags and a caliber that scores major points. But does that mean paying for a custom-built limited gun? Well, John's about to show you how to make the step to limited economically. Well, this is something very new to the market. This is the M&P 40 Pro Series 5-inch. And I've got a selection of parts to bring this gun up to speed and make it competitive in the limited division. First, the internal parts, all from Apex Tactical. I've got their hard sear and ultimate striker block, and those just dropped into place and got me on the way to a race-ready trigger. I also did their trigger return spring and performance striker spring. Now, the benefit of all of these parts can be seen when you look at the trigger pull gauge. Under three pounds. That's more than four pounds better than the factory trigger pull. Now to help manage the recoil of that major power factor 40 cal, I've got a Speed Shooter Specialties tungsten guide rod, and this is going to put a little more weight out in front of the gun for flatter shooting. I've also got a selection of recoil springs in different weights from 13 to 17 pounds from ISMI. And that is going to help me fine tune energy transfer front to back. Now these are simple drop in replacement parts. Now to the frame, and this Speed Shooter Specialties removable magwell. Now this is really the only option right now for a removable magwell for M&P that doesn't require any permanent alteration to your frame. Remove your factory backstrap retainer. I'm going to take the factory backstrap off and replace it with this V-cut design that I also got at Speed Shooter Specialties. Then insert the new backstrap retainer that came with the magwell. Now the magwell catches this lip on the front of the frame here and closes over the end of the retainer and is held in place with this pin. All right. To get the magazines up to speed, I've got some 140 millimeter base plates for M&P mags. These come from Taylor Freelance. Now these will add five rounds of capacity in 40 cal to the factory mags, bringing the total up to 20. So we'll just disassemble the factory magazines and I want to reuse the factory follower. So I'll situate that on the replacement spring and send that into the mag. Now we'll just reassemble with the Taylor Freelance base plate. There it is. Everything you've seen in the buildup so far is available online at SpeedShooterSpecialties.com, the place with everything you need to hot rod your M&P. Now the only thing I need is some range time. All of these parts work together really well to make this gun competitive in the limited division of USPSA or in Pro-Am. But I've got more planned for this gun so you will see it again. The M&P limited gun seems to be running really well. So how much did John spend on all of that? Well, not as much as you might think. The Apex Tactical Competition Action Enhancement Kit is $95, the Magwell is $50, the Tungsten Guide Rod is $46, both from Speed Shooter Specialties. The Taylor Freelance aluminum floor plates are $29 a piece, so less than $300 in the conversion, plus the new M&P 40 5-inch. Altogether, less than 1000 to be competitive in limited. Yeah.